welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Elder Scrolls Online. Alright, so last episode we entered Cold Harbor and that's just about it. That's about where I left off. Um, so we are going to try our absolute best. By best, I mean going through every single quest. Um humanly possible and everything like that so um yeah anyways um now I know uh these p these four particular quests are um let's see the when the heart what the heart wants okay. so i will probably get to the last five actually okay here so here's what i'm gonna do well first we're going to go to um um the hollow city and then we're gonna start here and do as much as we can throughout this general area. Um, so we're probably gonna leave this off into sections and stuff, so. But we'll see. We will see. I wanna try and get Cold Harbor done as quickly and as fast as possible. would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, Planewalker. Who are you? You may refer to me as the Groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. Where are we? The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. And this is where I'm supposed to gather my army. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Bal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. I'm ready, lead on. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets, and with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. Now come, let us walk. Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Hello, Khajiit. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace 
and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could. But they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered. But the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain, and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nurn. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise, an overconfident Molag Baal. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian, the alien king, and you, our last best hope. You must get This city shall serve you well against Molag Baal. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save forged into a weapon by your own hands. And what is your role in all of this? I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Baal's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. What's the next step? You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Baal. All right. You shall require more than just the King and the Mage, of course, but they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, Allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. Others? As you seek out the mage and the king, 
I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust, and who would be willing to join us here. And the mage and the king, where will I find them? Go west, beyond the moonless walk. There you shall find the Aeliad King, held within a tower of darkness. Vanus the mage is somewhere in the eastern plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I'll find the Aelid King and Venice the Mate. I recommend heading west first to find the Aelid King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the lights of Meridia. The lights have the power to unlock his prison of darkness. And where can I find these lights? As you no doubt noticed, Morlog Bal's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere, but most likely, they are guarded by Morlog Bal's forces. Rumors only, I'm afraid. I have heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest. A tower that is not a tower. That guards one of the lights. And others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast that distorts the purity of Meridia's light. All right. So that's a good place. Any what? What was this? A quest? Point hole? Can I not go? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Okay, I guess I can't go in yet. Anyways. Alright, so that's a good a place to start as any. And I think these will all unlock once I start unlocking the Hollow City and stuff. <clears throat> Well, let's start east. Because this is obviously the most choice driven area of all. You're a real live person, aren't you? I thought I was all alone out here. I bet you came from that city over there. Could you help me, please? Why can I see through you? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. Well, Freelancers, really. We got separated from the others as soon as we arrived in Cold Harbor. But we're not slacking off. We're investigating this old library. So what's the problem? We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. To rescue my brother, you know. But now I'm trapped too. There's a lot of magical projection stuff in here. That's how I'm talking to you. And how can I help? The Major Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. My brother went into the old library with a couple of other treasure hunters. And that's when the Daedra showed up? You got it. Look, my brother's the expert, but I think the Daedra are using the projection lenses to spy on the people trapped in the library. As long as the lenses are active, the doors won't open. I'm thinking sabotage is in order. So I should destroy the lenses? That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Please hurry. Whatever the Daedra want, it can't be good. Is this 
working. Can you see me? I'll try to show you what's going on inside the library while you smash those lenses. Here goes. Did you see that? I'll make some adjustments while you search for the next lens. It's working. I switched the widgets with the gadgets and that seemed to do the trick. Now let's see if I can get a view into the other part of the library. That was... unexpected. I must be doing something wrong. I'll give it one more try while you hunt down the last lens. Where's this book? I made the proper adjustments. Now, let's see if I can spot my brother. Lady Laurent, we need to get out of here. This place is a trap. Young Raynor has already been caught in a spell. Oh, Talinger, let's just stay here, you and I, forever. No, the glamour has taken you as well. Come, my dear. Let us find a quiet corner among all these beautiful books. She's lost. Damn! I need to escape before I also succumb to the spell. I'll leave them a note in case the effects wear off. A spell? Why haven't I been affected? Wait. I just heard the door unlock. It should be safe now. Come meet me in the gallery at the top of the ruins. Oh, shit. <laughs> Raynor! Raynor! He can't hear me! Why can't he hear me? Raynor! 
Visitor Raynor Vanos Dunmer Mail Notes Artifacts Expert Blah 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 okay. I can see Raynor through this observation window, but he can't hear me. It must be the spell. And I bet the spell didn't affect me because I'm not attuned to whatever catalyst controls the Magica Matrix. The Magica Matrix? You know, the spell web. A pretty elegant trap, really. I think the spell's catalyst has something to do with an interest in knowledge. I'd be insulted, but what can I say? I'm in this for adventure, not scholarly pursuits. And thanks, by the way. Right. The spell seems to be a combination of glamours and illusions. It snared my brother and the other scholarly types. Anyway, we can't leave them like that. We have to snap them out of it. Uh, do you have a plan? I always have a plan. It requires you to get down there and talk some sense into them. I'll make sure the Daedra don't lock us in here again. Just find me if Raynor gives you any trouble. And be careful. Illusion magic can be tricky. I thought the spell only affected scholars. Sure, but there may be other spells active down there. Take a look at the observation windows and remember the details of each holding cell. The Daedra must be keeping those notes for some reason. And I believe in always being prepared. Alright. The president's notes. Raynor Venice Dunmer Mail. Notes Dormer Artifact X Ar Artifice Expert held in room with yellow crystals and eye of Hermaeus Mora. Banner appears heavily susceptible to illusions, but may possess Dwemer inspired devices. So search carefully. Okay. Um, Lady Cl Clarice, written female, noble explorer held in room with cross of Meridia banner and blue crystals, may be resistant, may be resistant to observe close up. Okay. Held in a cell with the star of Azura banner and blue crystal. All right. Sounds simple enough. Alright, now I just gotta find them. What a creepy place. I can feel something tugging at my mind. Find my brother and the scholars, and hurry! The spell might adapt and eventually trap us in here, too. Hmm? Oh, sorry. This book is so engrossing. Could we talk later? You need to get out of here. I said I'm reading. Go bother someone with an intellect closer to your own level. I'm sure Lady Clarice and that Ultima Artificer would be happy to listen to your inane... I don't know what... Wait. You're right. This place radiates Daedric magic. I can feel it in the back of my skull. We need to free the others. Find Lady Clarice. I remember, she realized something important before we were drawn into the spell. Will you be alright? I think so. I can still feel the spell tugging at my mind, though. Just in case, Kirith and I are going to our camp outside of the ruins. You should get to safety. But thanks. Kirith and I will head for our camp outside the ruins. Meet us there after you find Lady Laurent and the Artificer.
not interrupt me. Leave. But this is my home. Damn it. I think it said blue crystal. Rainer sent you? I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not... Hmm. I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really... Thank you. Why am I skipping dialogue? What, what is wrong with me? So this one is blue crystal. Or, uh, one. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little. <laughs> Place the spell of protection on this note, making it invisible to to Daedra. If you're reading this, you are not you're not Daedra, so I can probably trust you. I hope it is you, Clarice, or that pro promising young young Raynor. I dread to imagine that you are both both still trapped in this terrible place. The magic here is strong, stronger than strong stronger even than mine. I would what would have believed myself so susceptible to to simple illusions. Drastic me me measures must be taken. I've discovered a vault in the lower levels. I plan to lock myself within, hopefully remain remaining clear he headed long enough to wor work on a plan of escape. Find me at, in, in the vault, then we can escape together. What am I doing? You can all get fucked. get down I take it that you are the one who read my note. The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non-Daedra eyes examined the writing. I do hope that you are a member of the Force from Tamriel. If so, I have something to show you. What have you discovered? 
This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. Something on the other side seems to pierce the veil of illusion that hangs over this ruined library. You think it's dangerous? Mm, it's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. If we can acquire it, then this excursion will not have been a complete waste of time. You must have some idea what this source of power is. Mm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The sources of power she used to hurl the hollow city into Cold Harbor. Come in and we shall investigate further. I take it that... Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Why do you want me to do this? Because I don't completely trust myself. While I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Find the power source and meet me at our camp outside the ruins. And take this token, just in case. What does this token do? Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you get lost, use the token and it will return you to the portal. What was once a curiosity that won me fortune and acclaim is now a vital tool in our mission. Wonder where this leads me. These lights of Meridia can free me from Molag Bar's bondage. Find them and bring them to me. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. What power I still possess shall keep you safe. What do you say, dude? We <laughs> holy hell, that, that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Did I mention that whenever my character falls, I get a tingling feeling in my stomach? Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? You were right. I found this on the other side of the portal. By the eight, that crystal. It is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. If an agent of Meridia harnesses this power force, we shall gain a distinct advantage. With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Thank you for your help. You know, you remind me of one of my students. What will you do now? Once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Molag Ball's plane meld mechanism. There is always research to do in campaigns such as this. And... But before I do that, I want to go over here. Uh, what happened to the sound? Sometimes the right thing and the wrong thing. You have come to Haj Uzith in its most desperate hour. What is this place? Haj Uzith is a place out of time. An ancient Argonian settlement plucked from the Black Marsh and deposited into this dread realm. We know of your mission to Cold Harbor, and we would like to help. 
But unfortunately, my people are divided. Divided about what? Divided over the fate of our history. But tradition demands that you pass our trials and prove your worth before I reveal all of our secrets to you, outsider. Please, head down this path to the city. I will follow you. I'll go to Haj Zulith. I don't know why, why, why my, uh... I told you, Zohaniel, we will not aid the outsider while our factions continue to argue about the fate of our beloved Hist tree. The outsider has come, Anjin Saka. Just as the history foretold. Perhaps now we can finally settle our disputes and do what is best for the Hist and for Nern itself. We shall see, Tree Minder. We shall see. Are you ready to help us, Outsider? Will you undertake the trials? Tell me about these trials. There are two trials, each designed to prove your worth to one of the factions here in Haj Uzith. The Trial of Spirit and the trial of body. One shall test your intangible qualities, the other your physical virtues. What is the trial of, of spirit? The trial of spirit is a test to prove your worth to the scholars of Haj Uzith. It shall challenge your mind and determine your strength of spirit. What is the trial of body? The trial of body is a test to prove your worth to Anjin Saka and his warrior faction. I'm sure it involves some kind of contest of strength and physical prowess. And what will these tests determine? By successfully completing the trials, you shall show your worth and skills to our factions. Then you may participate in the great debate that has fractured our community for so long. Are you ready yeah. to undertake these trials? I am ready. Do you wish to start the trial of spirit? Yes. This trial determines if your spirit can understand the spirit of my people. We cherish courage, which helps us face this realm's horrors. Endurance, which allows us to bear its hardships. And preservation, which keeps our traditions alive. Courage, endurance, and preservation. I understand. Take these amulets and speak to the people on the South Pyramid. Give each amulet to the person that best represents its spiritual quality. For each correct match, you will receive a gem. What are these gems for? Three statues at the top of the pyramid represent the challenges our values must contend with. Place the gems in the correct statues to symbolize overcoming these challenges. Then meet me at the base of the pyramid when you have finished the trial. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Ah, I see the trial of spirit has begun. I am a go-between. I negotiate interactions between my people's two factions, as well as with the other inhabitants of Cold Harbor. I am a go-between. And which of Zohan Neil's baubles do you think matches my daring nature? No, thank you. And which of Zohan Neil's baubles do you think? Okay, so I can't even get it nature? wrong. Thank you. I need to be brave and resolute to negotiate not only with my own people, but with the sad and dangerous creatures that roam this twisted plane. Here, take this gem of courage. You will need it when you reach the top of the pyramid. All right. Thinking this is preservation. You must be here for the trial of spirit. Know that I am the Lord Master of Haj Uzith. I maintain the traditions and customs of my people. Z Zahanil, however you pronounce that name, provided me with an amulet to give to you. Of course. 
And which amulet do you think best matches my venerable nature? Preservation. Thank you. My role here is to preserve and pass on the traditions of my people so that each generation never forgets where we came from. Take this gem of preservation. You will need it when you go to the pyramid's upper level. All right. Now, oh, for book. Now, for the final one, which isn't, okay. I'm all turned around. Endurance. Yes. Are you here for the trial? Yes. One of Zohan. Give endurance. Thank you. Okay. Statue of Life. Time. Okay. So this is. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look this up. I don't know. Um. What quest am I doing? Wisdom of the ages, okay. I'm gonna look this up, because I have no idea. I'm gonna mute myself real quick. All right, I figured it out. Yep, that seemed to work. All right. Yeah, I just haven't had, I, I haven't done this quest in so long, so it, it, it's nice to have a, 
refresher course and everything. The outsider returns. And was your trial of spirit successful? Yes, I successfully completed the trial of spirit. Good. That means you understand the spirit of my people. And what should I do next? You must still complete the trial of body. Speak to Anjin Saka when you are ready to begin. You Will you answer some questions for now? You have proven yourself, as I knew you would. I shall answer what I can. How did your people wi wind, wind up in Cold Harbor? The time of the great Argonian civilization was coming to an end, and our history feared what that would mean for its children. When Molag Bal offered a different solution, the history gladly accepted. And what does Molag Bal get out of this deal? We allow Molag Bal's minions to draw sap from the Hist tree. The only thing sustaining the Hist in this foul land is the crystal that Molag Bal gave us. But over time, the crystal has poisoned the Hist. It is dying. Tell me how... Tell me more about your history. Our Hist cares for us, protects us. To preserve our culture, our history struck a bargain with Molag Bal. Now the crystal provided by the Lord of Brutality somehow keeps the Hist alive. But it cannot fully heal the poison in this soil. What is this crystal? We believe that the crystal is one of Molag Bal's vampiric shards. Foul relics that corrupt whatever they come in contact with. The crystal only prolongs the suffering of the Hist. No matter the cost, that suffering needs to end. You mentioned helping settle a debate. Yes, provided you prove yourself worthy to both sides. Our two factions argue over the ultimate fate of the Hist tree. Which is the better outcome? Eternal death or eternal suffering. And then, of course, there is your mission to this dread realm. And what do you know of my mission? We know that you have come to this realm with the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. We know that you seek to stop the plane mail that Molag Bal has orchestrated. We want to help you, but we can't while our people disagree. And what do you mean by ultimate fate? The scholars, of which I am a part believe that eternal death is better than the eternal suffering our Hist now endures. The warriors, led by Anjin Saka, feel quite the opposite. Existence, they feel. Any existence is better than oblivion. Can you tell... Can't the Hist tell you what it wants? If only it were that simple. Our Hist is weak, barely sustained by the crystal that feeds it. It hasn't spoken to us in a long, long time. But I have had dreams. They revealed your imminent arrival and hinted at your involvement in our debate. You have completed the trial of spirit. Are you ready to undertake the trial of body now? I'm ready to begin the trial of body. Know that our arrangement with Moloch Ball prohibits us from interfering with the Dremora. Collect sap from the Hist. You, however, are under no such obligation. And what does this have to do with the trial of body? It has everything to do with the trial. It is the trial. Beneath the North Pyramid, Dremora gather sap from the Hist into great vats. They use treated wood to heat the sap and refine it, drawing forth its magical essence. And what do you want me to do? Demonstrate your strength and physical prowess. Destroy the vats and disrupt their operations. If you add more treated wood to the fires, the sap will burn, and the vats will melt in the intense heat. Complete this task, and then... Okay. Going underground.
is this someone not working? There we go. The outsider has returned. I overheated the sap vats and completed the trial of body. Well done, outsider. That should give the Hiss time to heal while the Dramora rebuild the refining vats. What does Moloch Ball do with the Hiss sap? Nothing good, that's for sure. He covets the magical essence of the Hissed Sap and refines it into potions and elixirs, whose purpose we can only guess at. It's a perversion, but it is one we must endure. I completed the both trials. Then the time has come to choose. Do you agree that life, no matter the hardships, is sacred? Or do you side with the scholars who would rather end the suffering and let our history die? What happens if I d agree to support the warriors? If you settle the debate in the warrior's favor, then the history continues to live and our civilization shall endure, just as it always has in this harsh land. Plus, my warriors shall stand at your side in your final battle against Molag Ball. Remind me about, the, about what the warriors believe. The warriors believe that the history must survive, no matter the torments it is forced to suffer. The crystal must continue to sustain it, to keep the spark of life flickering despite the endless pain. Life is precious. The hist must endure. If you... You have completed our trials, outsider. Now we ask you to settle our long debate. Will you Remind side me with what the scholars? the scholars believe. The scholars believe that the history cannot continue as Molag Ball's slave. It withers away, but the crystal will not let it die. This cruel existence, this terrible suffering, it must come to an end. Oblivion is preferable to eternal torment. Yeah, I agree. I... <sighs> Plus, I think I chose this answer last time. This outcome, while sad, is for the best. We shall give you a boon to help you in your struggle. Without the vampiric shard, the hist will pass on naturally. But first, you need to convince Anjin Saka to accept your decision. Have you made a decision, outsider? I, I agree with the scholars. The history suffering must end. I see, but our traditions allow a choice. Any choice to be challenged. You must defend your decision by defeating our champion in combat. If you cannot uphold your conviction through battle, then how can you expect us to honor your decision? Your conviction and certainty do you proud. Very well. The warriors will accept your decision. 
Cool. The cursed shard has been destroyed. Currents of happiness and grief flow through the river this day. Your long debate has been decided. Thank you, outsider. Because of you, the history's eternal suffering and enslavement shall finally come to an end. We shall mourn the hist, but we shall also find solace now that its pain and torment is over. When you need us, we shall be there. I don't want to be in Cold Harbor too long, but... Quest somewhere around here? Where's this quest? This was the problem that I had like beforehand, like quest not showing up when 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 it needed it. Lost loot. I gotta look at this quest now. Hold on. Give me two seconds.
All right. I guess there is no quest giver for this. Just finding a loot, I guess. Let's go into this delve and see what we can find. Must have expanded this place.
You'll do you do know what you'll you'll do what now? Sorry, I swap it all. Uh, spit in my mouth. Disgusting. Fighting every single enemy in full cover.
<clears throat> Something definitely went wrong with the portal spell. Instead of arriving in Cold Harbor as an evading force to be reckoned with, we wound up scattered by to the four winds. I am I am now now a captain without a command. The others that appeared with me, we've been fight, fighting or running since we got here. We finally found found a relatively safe spot on the edge of the dark dark forest and decided to set up camp. This is the first time since we arrived that I felt felt safe, safe enough to just sit down and record my thoughts. Time seems to flow differently in this realm. Sometimes it feel 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 like so, sometimes it feel feel okay feels like like we've been we, we, we've only been here here for a few hours and other times I could swear we've been here for days the mission has has turned into a colossal failure instead of stepping through the portal together we were we were thrown in all directions shrewn about like so many dry leaves in a bitter wind. Luck was with me, though I landed in the company of Kamu, the the Khajiit. It only re it, and if only the rest of my lu luck had turned out as well. We found ourselves in a strange ruin east of this camp. There were old flame atronachs everywhere, intent on roasting us to f to a very fine blue crisp. We dispatched a couple of creatures creatures before before we were forced to turn tail and run for some reason however as we got clo close to the forest the atronachs stopped chasing us they suddenly seemed to lose interest in us and returned to the ruins well i guess i should stop writing now and help and help finish setting up our camp i'll write write more after we get get some sleep provided nothing terrible ha happens to us in the in, in, in the interim interim we were awakened after a few hours, minutes, days of sleep by voices. There seemed to be people in the shadows in, of, of the woods, talking, whispering. We can hear them. But the voices aren't dis distinct enough, not enough to make out what, um, to make out any actual words. Or maybe it's just the la la language n n none of us have ever heard before. I'm not sure. Every so often, though, we clearly hear something that sounds like a cry for help. Every time we hear this desperate cry, we think of our missing allies. It could be some of them lost in those dark woods. They might be hurt or in, or in danger. Or, well, anything could be, could, could be happening here. Kamu and I have decided to head, head into the forest and find the source of those pitiful cries. I'm going to leave my journal here in case any other members of the expedition come across the camp we'll try to leave a trail so 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 that you can follow our path we're going to head west and then southeast so fo so follow us after so i'll follow after us if you can here's so something else you should need to know kamu discovered that if you touch one of the wisps that that float amongst the trees you'll glow and get a temporary source of light Perfect for fi fi finding your way way through the shadowy woods. I suggest you I suggest you make liberal use of the wisp if you're going to meet try to meet up with us. Well, it's time to go. I hope I hope to, I hope to see you soon and may the eight. Okay. They must be a clue. Now where did those fools run off to?
slaughtered. Nothing ever changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. I'm looking for my allies. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. So they're going to kill them? Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Why do you want to find them? Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. How are you going to find them? Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. Damn it. More outsiders. Show them the penalty for entering the moonless walk. Yeah, you're going to die. You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. Ooh. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. Why is your clan hunting these soldiers? Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. I need to help the Khajiit. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. What do you want me to do? The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest. But you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. And how can I see the invisible runners? You need to collect the bark of a spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. I need to know more, more before I agree to this. Your friend is out there, being hunted by my people as we speak. If you have questions, ask them quickly so we can get back. My clan is ancient, older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time, when we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. How did you wind up in Cold Harbor? According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood. Instead of fighting back, my ancestors decided to offer their allegiance to the Prince. And here we are. And so your ancestors just gave up? Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. The Shadow Walkers love power. In exchange for servitude, we were promised power over our enemies. But you're different. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Molag Bal gave us power, but he keeps us trapped here. What good is power if we're stuck in this realm forever? I want to seek. All right.
Did you get the bark? We don't There's have much time left. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. Side effect? While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. So how does this work? Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the... Be something out there. Where in Ifra's name is that sound? <laughs> Why are the creatures acting so strangely today? Come <laughs> on. 
Okay. I got you. But there's so many fucking wisps. This one does not understand the game the little it's elf and the annoying. snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our victory. It's in there. I know this to be true. Tell me what you're talking about. We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help. And he will help us in return. The last Elliot King here? Then Captain Alfari was right. The key to our victory is locked away in that tower. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. Head for the city to the east. It's safe there. I'll investigate the it's tower. safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I wish I could go with you. But until my injuries heal, I would only slow you down. Good luck, mate. This one doesn't know very much about this area. But this one always has opinions. Ask what you will and I will answer. It's the... Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. But if we were seeking allies, Kamu would choose the elves. They are strong and capable. They could be a great help against Molag Bal. Not the Lamias. Well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. But Kamu can't deny their ferocity. Perhaps they are worthy of consideration as well. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I can help you, though. No one knows that tower better than I do, but I need to ask for your help in return. It's important. What do you need my help for? You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower. Assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood, but that's never going to happen. How can I change the minds of the Shadow Walkers? Like me, you've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. 
You know about the plane meld. You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molugbal destroys it? And what about the Lamia and her people? Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you, but only if you aid me and convince my people. Very well. I knew you would help me. I'll show you how to get into the tower, but first, you need to convince my people to end their service to Molag Baal. And to do that, you'll have to prove yourself to my clan. In order to help my people, you're probably going to have to do some things you may not like. You need to accomplish a deed of honor before they'll even let you near them. Otherwise, you'll be greeted by a hail of arrows. Deed of honor? I don't want to get into details with the Lamia standing nearby. Meet me at the bridge to the east of here. We'll talk there. Just be careful. Any other Meet Lamias you meet will... Yes. Delayed. It was harder to get rid of Zygnith than I thought it would be. Now, what were you talking about? Oh, I remember. Before my people will even listen to you, you need to perform an honor deed. It has to be an act that benefits my clan. Something they would expect one of us to be able to accomplish. What do you suggest? To really make an impression, you need to hurt the Lamias, kill them, burn their eggs, and defeat their champion. Even our strongest warriors haven't been able to accomplish that. Do these things, and that should be enough to get you an audience. Maybe. That's certainly more than any of my people have been able to do. It won't be easy, though. She's a powerful old snake. Her cave is at the highest point in the Lamia camp. is dead. Let's return to the camp where your friend was killed. There's a portal stone there that we can use to reach the council. Outsider that Thoroneal has been dragging around the forest. Interesting. I wasn't expecting any of the Shadow Walkers to be here. They haven't attacked yet, so that's a good sign. Just don't do anything to make them nervous, all right? What do you think the Shadow Walkers are here? Why do you think the Shadow Walkers are here? Well, I told you that killing Lamias would get their attention. You performed an honor deed. They respect that. Hopefully, that respect will last long enough for you to help me before they decide to kill you. Mm. So what do we do? You stay here. I'll go see the council and give them the Lamia's head. That should be all the incentive they need to agree to listen to you. In the meantime, talk to the Wood Elves here. Any information you gain is just another arrow in your quiver. We'll return shortly. You'll be safe here, I promise. Why not get to know a few of these Shadow Walkers while I'm gone? I don't remember the last time I talked to an outsider. Killed one, sure. I do that all the time. But talk... That's a new one for me. I was born and bred in these woods. Never ventured outside its borders. Always wonder what was out there. Help me convince your, your elders to break their vow. I'll get you out of this place. You don't honestly believe you can do that, do you? Mm -hmm. My people made a vow to protect this citadel long before I was born. The elders are ancient and stuck in their ways. 
They'd never agree to break our oath. I'm gonna convince them to leave and come with me. We get to see bright skies and clear water. I've only heard stories about such things. Listen, if you speak to Elder Elseril, show some compassion. Life okay, on compassion. a council can be harsh and unforgiving. All right, compassion for that one. Farineel is like a sister to me. I always convinced her to give up her foolish plan, and then you showed up. Well, since you made it this far, we might as well try it her way. I guess any chance, no matter how remote, is worth the trouble. So, what do you suggest I do to convince the council to listen to me? I hope I don't live to regret this. Inril is the oldest member of the council. She's also the most willing to listen. But you have to show her some respect. Let her speak. Respond only when spoken to. That's all I can think of. Hope it helps. Okay. You're lucky, outsider. The only thing keeping me from sticking my knife in you right now is our code. But if you think I'm gonna help you, think again. You wanna draw that knife? little knife of yours and you'll see, see where it ends up. You dare challenge me? You test my patience, fool. Be gone before I forget my manners and got you where you stand. I took the Lamia's head as a trophy and I still got, got room for a few more. I like your confidence, outsider. You've got some bark on your hide. And that's exactly what you're gonna need if you go up against Elder Glynn. Don't take no for an answer and keep pushing him. Do that and he eventually gives in. All right. You don't look tough enough to have beaten the Lamia champion, but even a mighty storm starts with a light breeze. Still, an honor deed is an honor deed. Maybe the Council of Elders will actually agree to meet with you. Anything I should keep in mind when I see the Council? I'm not sure I should help you, but you seem to be on Farineel's good side. Maybe if I give you some advice, I'll get on her good side too. I recommend you try a little humor when you talk to Thor. He's a dry old leaf, but he does like to laugh. Good news. The council has agreed to meet with you. Ah! Ah! The council will see you, but this won't be easy. You have one chance to convince them, so make sure you put your best foot forward. My people, right. our future depends on it. Any we last words? To be dealing with the council can be tricky. It's a collection of individuals, each with his or her own idiosyncrasies. They are devoted to Molag Baal and our oath of servitude. You can't fail. All right. I don't know what that guy's doing, but all right. All right, so I'm going to talk to... Let's see here. This one's compassion. You poor child. Dealing with those disgusting Lamias as you navigated the moonless walk must have been so unnerving. Such horrible creatures. Now, sad little Farinil mentioned that you bring us news from Nern. What is it? Molag Ball pants to destroy Nern. His invasion has already begun. Such terrible news. But how can I know that what you say is true? It makes no sense. Why would Molag Ball destroy our beautiful and beloved Valenwood? I'm so sorry. Um, let me see here. That's not the right one. I'm so sorry, but I've seen the Daedric Anchors. Thousands have already died. You must believe me. The poor animals that roam the Valenwood. The people. I... I shall consider what you have told me and pray for an end to the pain and suffering. Thank you for sharing this news with me. All right. You have accomplished much, Outsider. Survived the moonless walk, performed an honored deed. Well done. I shall listen to your words and consider them with great respect. I promise you this much. Okay, so this was respect. Now, tell me, why are you here? Molag Ball has lied to you. He'll never let, let, let you leave. Help me, help me, and, you'll, and you can return to Valenwood. You must understand. To simply accept the word of an Outsider, to turn our backs on everything we believe, you ask much, stranger. Still, Farenial has been insistent about the very same concern. Tell me something to sway my opinion. Okay, open your eye. Okay, that's not it. Um. Okay, so my lady, Old Harbor chains rip, chains rip through Nern. Valen Wood will be destroyed unless you do, unless we do something. That one seems a little bit more in line. Um. This news disturbs me. 
Thank you for sharing this information with us. Speak to the other elders while I consider what you've said. All right. Spew forth your lies and be quick Okay, about so this it. one's the pusher one. I have a great many one. things to contemplate today. Molag Ball is using you, and, he, and he's going to destroy Valenwood. You need to leave now. That annoying Farnil has convinced you of her fables, hasn't she? I tire of this old argument. But you did perform an honor deed. I shall give you one chance to convince me that we are being duped. Go ahead. Okay, so that's not the right decision. Um, this one's a little bit harder. Um... Okay, so that one's more softy pushy. With all due respect. I do not give a damn about your respect. What does the opinion of an outsider matter to me? Okay, fine. Should have pushed him. This is a great privilege allowing you to stand here. Never before has an outsider been permitted to set foot on Yes. We have sworn to protect the passage that leads to the tower known as the Lightless Oubliette. In exchange, we have been given the gift of shadow walking. When our contract is fulfilled, the Daedric Prince shall send us back to Valenwood. <laughs> well, well, yes, we still await our day of release. Hundreds of years, however, do not mean much in a place where lives are measured in eternity. What makes you think Molag Ball will break our agreement? I never trust anyone that just create, create, creates Valen Wood and the rest of Nern in the Daedric Country. You have a wit about you, and your words have given me much to consider. Have a care, though. Valen Wood was once my home. Speak to the other elders. We have heard enough. Use the portal and return to my daughter's side. Oh my god, I hope I didn't fail that shit. You're back. Tell me everything. Did it go well? Of course they are. That's what the council does. Some... Of course you did. Outsider, step forth and hear the decision of the Council of Elders. The council has discussed what you told us, debated your words from every angle, even drew upon Farineel's arguments from past meetings. Understand that we did not reach our decision lightly. What did you decide? The Council can no longer ignore the truth happening around us. Yes! For too long we obeyed our vows and waited for a reward that will never be granted. Should we continue on our path, even after Valenwood is destroyed? What does this mean? It means that your argument has convinced us. I sent runners to unlock the ruined passage that leads to the tower. My daughter said that you were interested in the place. I will also send a group of soldiers to aid you against Molag Ball. Thank God. What did my father say? Did you convince council, him? The, yes, the council has agreed to help. Yes, you did it. You really did it. I've tried for so long to convince them, and now we can finally leave this wretched place. I can look upon a real sky. What did my father tell you to do? I need to go to the tower, send uh, someone to open the door. When the council finally makes a decision, they act with speed and certainty. I suggest you head for the door to the ruined passage as quickly as you can. I'm going to talk to my father. I want to be a part of the group we send to help you. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Out of my way, fools! Alright, I need to, first of all, discover this way shrine. Delayed, but that's okay. Free me from 
my bonds. I have waited for centuries. And waited and waited. Do you know how boring that can be? But now, you are here. Just as Meridia foretold. Meridia knew where I was coming. The Radiant One knows many things. She knew that one day the city she plunged into Cold Harbor would serve her purpose. At first, she thought I would fulfill that prophecy. But I failed. And now, I need your help. Where are you projecting this image from? Have no fear. I am as alive as you are. Molag Baal has preserved me so that I can endure his endless tortures. His cruelty knows no bounds. I can't slip free of this lightless oubliette, but I have managed to send word. my projection oubliette. to meet you. How do I set you free? I knew you were the one I was waiting for. Molag Baal locked me away for a reason. He fears me. Once you set me free, we can make him regret the day he made us his enemies. You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I am glad to see that my calculations were not in error. Now, if you are ready, we have a prison to break out of. How did you, how did you wind up here? I was captured shortly after Meridia pushed her city into this dread realm. This prison relies on darkness. Early on, I almost broke free. Now, Molag Baal shapes the darkness itself to bind me, suppressing my attempts to escape. So what should I do? Molag Baal has trapped me within a pillar of darkness, infused with his own vile energy and powered by the light of Meridia. That, however, will be his undoing. The light of Meridia can also banish this darkness. But you have to bring it to me. I'm on my way. To reach me, you must first unlock the prison. Yeah, I already know who you are. Enter the frozen alcove and collect the flame shadow crystal. Then place it on the... I just poop out of existence, okay. Enter the library and collect the mind shadow crystal. Then place it on the central base.
Oh, Discord. Nice. Lovely. Oh my god, I'm fucking blind. Enter the garden and collect the life shadow crystal. Then place it on the central dais at the entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enter the oubliette and set me free. You have done well to make it this far. But there is still more to do to set me free. the crystals you can change a beam's direction you may need to rotate a crystal multiple times to connect the beams and form a path of light to the ebon shards blinded adjust the crystals until the beams of light destroy the ebon shards then the pillar of darkness will collapse and i shall be free
freedom at long last. My calculation suggested that you had a slightly better chance to fail rather than to succeed. I suspect, though, that you often beat the odds. Thank you. Are you hurt? No. A little weary, perhaps, but not injured. My mind remains sharp, however. I suggest we make our escape from this place. It is the only tactically sound option at our disposal. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Allow me to create a portal to Meridia's city. We can speak there. This portal leads to the Hollow City. We shall talk again when we are free. Do this. I really can. All I have to do is. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do this. There is no way. Why did I ever think I could make it in the Fighters Guild? What are you doing out here? Trying to figure out my next move. I'm with the Fighters Guild. We were attacked by Daedra. They captured my companions, took them into that prison down there. I'm just a scout. I can't fight Daedra. But I bet you could. Uh, how do you get... How, how do you get into this prison? There was a portal. The Daedra used it, but it disappeared. Near as I can figure, the only way in now is to jump down into the water. If you're brave enough to take the leap, look for Scordo. Big orc fellow. He always knows what to do. I'll jump in, I'll jump in and help the fighters go. What I wouldn't do to be in a nice, safe place. A tavern somewhere, maybe. Warm, pint of ale, some good company. Instead, I'm in Cold Harbor. If Morlog Baal's minions don't kill me, Scordo surely will. Hmm. The Daedra called it the Tower of Lies. All right. Hell you! Did you really just leap down into this slime pit? You're either remarkably brave or really stupid. I guess a little of both. Get Gwil Lear sent me to help. Of course he did, the skinny weakling. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in this mess. A Dramora mage runs the place. Clouds minds, breaks wills. I can't get my soldiers organized. So how can I help? Oh, the fat bastard Ogrims dragged away my friends. We joined the guild together. It ain't right them getting tortured by Ogrims. You rescue Sinfrey, Borgath, and Vicord. I'll find Overseer or Ruz, and then you and me can deal with him permanently. Of course you do. Just me? Not much. No one pushes Scordo around. But the others? They chip away at rocks until they drop and get tormented by Ogrims. Some even have their souls yanked out. Turns them into empty husks. I wouldn't wish that. We tried, but... Well, this place is strange. Most of us just gave up, lost our will to resist. Doesn't affect everyone the same way, but it does make it hard to organize. 
Maybe if you shake things, what do I look like? The social committee? Alright, fine, 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 fine. Clarence. I find your antics to be quite enticing, little mortal. You look familiar. Really? Most mortals look alike to me. Plus, there's that smell. The odor of warm blood and quiet desperation. Mildly unpleasant, if you don't mind me saying so. Ah, wait a moment. I do remember you. You were in prison last time, too. I helped you. I assure you, contrary to the way this looks, imprisonment is not my usual situation. But before you get any ideas in that mortal little head of yours, I do not need your help this time. I'm helping the fighter skills find a way out of here. How fortunate for you. I shall enjoy observing how you go about accomplishing that particular miracle. Gordo sent you, didn't he? Thank tall Papa. Scordo set up a rendezvous point in the north part of the pit. I'll see you there. How did it go? Are my companions safe? Borgoth didn't make it, but I set Sinfei and Fikrod, Fikrod free. Damn. Orgath was a good soldier and a good friend. Thanks for helping the others, though. I've been watching for Overseer Oruz, but he hasn't come out of his chambers yet. We need to get his key. And why do we need the Overseer's key? The key opens the passage to the next level. That's where they took Captain Islerom and Captain Arak. There's a way out of this Ogrim dung pit. It's up there. Once you get the key, you need to head upstairs and find Captain Islerom. and despair of my meat and drink. And I'm famished.
fucking old grooms. What the fuck? I'm gonna regens. Creature. What are you doing up here? You don't really expect me to answer that, do you, little mortal? Needless to say, it amuses me to bide my time here and observe your plight. No need to concern yourself about my safety, though, for the lesser Daedra will not harm me. Do you know where I can find, find the Fighters Guild captains? Oh, yes! Watching them has been very entertaining. They struggle in a web they cannot see, and it makes me laugh. You mortals. So easy to manipulate, and so much... No, little mortal, I am neither your jailer nor your tormentor. I am merely a disinterested observer who finds some tiny enjoyment in your predicament. Why do you care what happens to me? Even if I cared to explain myself to you, I doubt that you would understand. The politics of Oblivion are much too convoluted for your primitive mortal mind to comprehend. Can you help me free the Fighters Guild? I will not hinder you, dear mortal. Consider that to be help enough for now. Know this, however. The exit from this place is currently... unavailable. I suspect you will rectify that in the very near future. Right. Spies. There are spies everywhere, and assassins. Scordo sent me to find you. Scordo? He could be one of Orok's assassins. You could be one of her spies. Never trust an orc or a spy. Blessed Lecky, I just don't know who or what to believe anymore. This place is getting to me. That's what any competent spy would say. Wouldn't hurt to prove you're not an illusion or a spy. Tell you what. My sword is back there with the Ogrims that attacked us. You get my sword for me and we'll talk. Meet me near Orox camp. your antics to be quite enticing, little mortal. Are you following me? Following you? An interesting notion. Perhaps you are the one following me. But enough with the pleasantries. I was checking something. You should run along now. The other mortals seem lost without you. What were you checking on? My, your interrogation technique is withering. I feel I must reveal everything to you. Wait. No, I don't. The feeling has passed. Maybe it was simply something I ate. Nice. Shit.
guess you aren't an illusion after all. Scordo also vouched for your existence. He doesn't vouch for anything, so you must have really impressed him. Recovered your sword. I almost expected you to stab me with it, not hand it to me. Hard to trust anything in this place. But as you can see, we have a situation developing here. Arak can barely refrain from attacking us. We need to fix this now. Any suggestions on how to accomplish that? Arak says she can't stop the voices without her helmet. She said the eyes have it. I think she means the watchers. Maybe the helmet will calm her down. Find her helmet. Thank you for doing this. to dwell on your fear and suffering. This place, it does strange things to your mind. How do I know you aren't just a distraction so Ilrim can slip behind me and stab me in the back? Wait, you killed Ifriz, Ilrim? What else could there possibly be left to talk about? Get a hold of yourself, Arak. Ifriz isn't one of ours. He's the bastard that runs this place. You're being manipulated. Here's our roster. You won't find Ifriz on it. Let me see that. Sure, I knew him. Didn't I? We need to figure a way to get out of this Tower of Lies. Who is that? Is that a Dramora? I grow weary of this situation. It's time to put an end to Ephraz's interference. You need to kill Ephraz. I need him dead. It seems we have a common goal to discuss. Help from a Dramora? We share a common problem, little mortal. It only makes sense that we work together to solve it. Why would you offer help now when you didn't even seem interested before this? Do either of us have any other options? Ephraz created the barrier that blocks the way out of this prison. Eliminate Ephraz and the barrier collapses. But you must find Ephraz if you are going to kill him. And you can direct me to... Ephraz. How sweet of you to ask. Ephraz hides behind illusions. I have removed them. He has something of mine. I want it back. Kill him and both our problems are solved. But hurry. He will soon discover his defenses are down and hide himself again. I'll deal with Ephraz. Will you help? Ah, little mortal. I've already provided more help than you deserve. All right, fine, fine, fine. Mortal weakling. What would avail you?
Oh, I'm gonna die. I get it. Watchers? to see what trouble you get into next. By Malakath's bloody mace, I feel so much better. That unbearable cloud of fear and confusion has finally lifted. I assume that this is your doing? I killed the Ephraim. I figured. We started sending people through the portal as soon as the barrier collapsed. There's a city nearby. We saw it before we were captured. We're going to try to regroup there. You should get out of here, too. Just making sure the stragglers get to the portal. By the way, you impress Scordo, which isn't an easy thing to do. Find him on the other side. He wants to talk to you. Take a look at the crystal we discovered. Ioram thinks it may be one of the lights of Meridia the Mage's Guild told us about. If it is, it could be invaluable to our efforts here. Helped us get out of that terrible place. I won't forget that. Well, I, I'm glad you decided uh, you survived the Tower of Lies. You could have just taken care of your own business in there and left us to our fate, but you didn't. I owe you. If that strange city over there has a tavern, the first drink's on me. And thanks. Scordo, you're free. By Ifri. You don't know how we're to see you. If you had half a brain in your head, you'd run and hide. I'm really sorry, Scordo. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble.
One of my danger ca ca captors has started making advances toward me. I assure you, this behavior is entirely un un re rocket. I don't know that word. <laughs> I have no idea what the un un re re, re oh unreciprocated. Okay, I, I was gonna say I was like I can English. Thank you very much. I have tried to be a gentleman about it. But she is quite insistent. A timely rescue appears increasingly desirable. I wonder how how poor Lady Laurent is holding up. I do ho hope she is all right. Her clothes must be terribly wrinkled by now. First and foremost. Wing Twilight. Drusilla continues to woo me into a most tenacious manner. I've tried to be stern with her, but this seems to be the only, to, 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 to only make her more determined. To have her away, away, away with me and, and is most disconcerting. Asserting. Furthermore, dear Lady Ron must be nearly starving by now. She forgets to take care of herself unless I remind her. Nice. You know, I'm just gonna fucking fight my way in. Fuck this. I hate Wing Twilights, man. Annoying as shit. Texting me. Hold on, guys. Hmm. Hold on, I'm turning my phone down real quick. Give me one second. Hello, phone. I let Dr Drusilla know in the clearest possible manner that my heart belongs to another. She refused to accept this and made, made it clear that she will have me. <laughs> Very persistent, isn't she? I fear she may soon wear me down. Dear Lady Laurent, ha ha L Laurent's hair must be a tangled mess by now. <laughs> the climate is harsh and I haven't attended it in days. Okay.
생각 봐. She really is lost when I'm not around to help her. I met Lady Ront. You should find her at the Hollow City. That's excellent news. The poor dear really isn't cut out for taking care of herself. She depends on me for everything, you know. How uh, did you end up at the tower? The Mages Guild hired Lady Laurent and a few other scholars and treasure hunters for some sort of mission. I was never really made privy to the finer details. Anyway, Lady Laurent had me gather her equipment and follow her through a portal. And then you were separated from the others. Quite so. I must have blacked out. When I opened my eyes, a winged beauty was hovering above me. She took me in her claws. Well, it wasn't that bad. All right, let's go into this. Um... Uh, um... The ruin? Huh? Yes, Ayla Gruen.
All right, so that's that section off, whatever. All right. Just raise my mic a little bit. Did you find my loot? I feel almost... You found it! How wonderful! Oh, I missed my loot for last so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, I feel so happy. I think I want to play a song now. Oh, fala. Let's make some beauty. I'm so happy I... After our city wound up in Cold Harbor, everyone was scattered. After more years than I... Yes, yes, my vision dream speaks true. You are the one my mistress seeks. This is a gathering for Undaunted. I haven't even done the Undaunted yet. Do I want to stop and leave the rest of it and maybe do, I don't know. Because this, this area won't take too long and then I'll finish the assault on Cold Harbor. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll do that. I'll do that. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. See you later, guys.